Hello, and welcome to Portland State University's CTF Walkthrough Channel. This is the walkthrough for Compute AES. You found this clue laying around. Can you decrypt it? Here is the hint. So this is what the clue looks like. It tells you that the following ciphertext was encrypted with AES in ECB mode, and that all values are base64 encoded. Uh, it gives us the ciphertext and the key, so in theory we should have everything we need to decode this. Uh, the hint says to use online tools, so why don't we just do that? Google for uh, an AES decrypt, like AES decrypt online. And the first tool is perfectly fine. So it just wants input text and a key, and you can either encrypt or decrypt. We want to decrypt. So uh, you might think we just enter this in, and it works like magic, but wait a second. This part is very important. It says base64 encoded, which means that this isn't actually ASCII. It's not plain text. This is uh, base64 text, and uh, that's not ASCII, so we have to change it. Uh, in fact, we will search for convert base64 to hex, not to plain, not base64 to plain, because when you convert base64 to plain, you sometimes get unprintable characters, and those can't be copied, so you'd have issues. Oops, wrong site. Uh, go to this site, the tomeco.net one, because that other one is kind of messy to use. So let's copy in the ciphertext, convert it to hex. Because this also takes hex instead of plain text, you could do that. So just convert it. We can copy this in and select hex. Same thing for the key. So put that in, select hex, decrypt. And also, by the way, this was free. It says there's a price. Ignore that. It doesn't cost anything. So here's our decrypted text, a bunch of numbers, but then you're looking at the wrong column. So look on the other side where it gives you letters. It says, flag, do not let machines win, uh, and then some numbers. So this looks like it could be our flag. So let's take it. Let's paste it in here. Uh, remove all the white space. Oops. Or their tabs, actually. Either way, they have to be removed. Otherwise, uh, Pico CTF doesn't recognize the flag. Submit, and the challenge is complete.